आज की वीडियो में मेरे साथ हैं ईशान शर्मा हु इज सच अ टेरिफिक यूट्यूबर सिंपली बिकॉज आई थिंक ही इज क्रैक दिस गेम अर्लियर देन मोस्ट अदर्स एंड इज डूइंग इट सो कमेंडेबली वेल दैट आई लुक्ड एट हिम एंड आई ओनली बीन इंस्पायर्ड तो आज के वीडियो में मैं ईशान के साथ एक कॉन्वर्सेशन करना चाहता था ऑन वट आर द लेजिड इनकम स्ट्रीम्स दैट अ स्टूडेंट कैन हैव ईशान बिट्स गोवा के स्टूडेंट थे वेन ही स्टार्ट दिस इंटायर जर्नी अब वो एक बहुत ही अलग लेवल पर जा चुके हैं बट ही अंडरस्टैंड कि एक स्टूडेंट लाइफ में कौन कौन से कंस्ट्रेंट्स होती हैं कौन कौन सी अपॉर्चुनिटीज हो सकती हैं एंड उसको कंबाइन करके हाउ कैन यू एक्चुअली स्टार्ट अर्निंग इवन बिफोर यू हैव अ फुल टाइम जॉब शुड यू वांट अ फुल टाइम जॉब सो थैंक यू सो मच ईशान फॉर जॉइनिंग अस बहुत ही मजा आने वाला है इस कॉन्वर्सेशन में एंड आई एम ग्लैड दैट यू कुड स्पेयर टाइम टूडे यार Thank you so much, Ankur, for inviting me here. Really excited to be here on your channel, and uh, yeah, I have had an amazing experience of making money by the skills that I already have. The last three years have been all about upskilling myself, and then investing all of my time into getting more clients and working with them and creating a revenue stream, basically. And along the way, I have seen a ton of people do the same thing, and I've also hired over ten to fifteen different freelancers who are all in college. or even our teenagers that are earning money in school itself so it's, it's a really interesting field that people can get into and they can learn the art of first of all upskilling themselves and then selling themselves or i should say selling their skills to yeah. the potential employer or the client that they want to pitch to so it's an amazing field people should definitely get into it and they learn a lot more than what they would in their lectures I would I oh, yeah la, last point bilkul dil se nikla ekdam I I, I could not agree more, yeah. <laughs> but but walk walk us through our journey yaar uh, not that ki mere audience ko aapke bare mein pata nahi hoga lekin for those who may not know about your journey main uh, khas kar do cheezon mein interested hu ek ki kis point pe as a student ishan aapko ye realize hua ki college मे बी वो पर्पज सर्व नहीं करेगा जिसके हिसाब से आप गए थे एंड एंड यू आर इन वन ऑफ द फाइनेस्ट इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ द कंट्री राइट तो उस पॉइंट पर भी अगर डिसल्यूजमेंट आ गया होगा तो इट मस्ट है बीन समथिंग दैन प्रोवोक तो ऐसा क्या हुआ या ऐसा क्या लगा कि यू विल हैव टू स्टेप आउट ऑफ द कॉलेज एक्सपीरियंस टू टेक चार्ज ऑफ योर ओन या टोटली When I was in my coaching, मेरे को एक ड्रीम सेल करी हुई थी मेरे कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट ने दैट वॉज बेसिकली कि भाई आप ही पढ़ लो कॉलेज में मजे ही मजे हैं and uh, that's what i thought it I, it would be right i thought it would be just an amazing experience i was really interested into quantum mechanics and i used to look at that mit uw ka course on the same so i went there i went into my college first of all i wanted to go into iits wo mila nahi mere ko because of my rank so i got uh, bits because i attempted the bits side and usme rank achhi aa gayi so i got in wahan ja kar ke i realized that the people around me are amazing mm. the professors the topic that they are talking maybe doesn't relate to me or what i want to do and it gets boring after a point like aap is slide show chal raha hai ppt pe ppt aate ja rahe hain wo ppt pad rahe hain professor and they just saying any questions no question okay let's move ahead <laughs> it sort of gets boring uh, but i completely understand that's how things are in most engineering colleges i am fortunate to be in a college that allows me to pursue things other than just studies so we have this zero uh, percent attendance policy and because of oh, that wow. hum log ko jo bhi karna hai us pe focus kar sakte hain most colleges mein 75 percent attendance policy rehti hai to unko aana hi padta hai classes ke andar so we can probably focus on doing whatever it is that we like so that's when i realized ki sirf college se to maza nahi aayega mere ko maybe i had this dream of getting into like google ya fir jo fan companies hoti hain software developer when i first got in and uh, of course it has changed a lot as i have progressed as i have matured as i have learned more about how the world really works so i learned about this thing and then i thought ki this is the time for me to learn skills as much as possible in first year of college while everyone else was like partying having fun you know doing all sorts of new things because they've been only focusing on iit je for the past 2 years and i could finally focus on doing what i actually wanted to do which was programming which was learning how social media really works content and code is what i focused on in my first year itself so my whole journey was about that uh, i found out that if you can upskill yourself and you can have that delayed gratification ki theek hai i can sit on one course and i can listen properly i can make notes i can revise and i can implement that on building something that could be a design that could be a project then i can then start selling my skills to other people in college itself and i can earn a living through that my thinking was simple right my parents were about to take a loan for my education and i thought ki 
ये फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लाइक दे वॉन्ट मी टू गेट इन टू आई आई टीज वो हुआ नहीं नाउ दे आर पे दिस रिटिकुलसली एक्सपेंसिव फीस ऑफ माई कॉलेज दैट इज बिट्स बिलानी एंड नाउ आई हैव टू justify that cost somehow right so i thought it would be amazing if i can pay my own college fees aise bahut sare youtube creator the jinko main dekhta tha and uh, they used to just say that i pay my own college fees i pay everything that i do these are mostly in the us so i got motivated from them and i thought how can i do something similar so i upskilled myself a lot you know that's the first and the most important part that i would tell everyone who is watching this video aapka pura focus hona chahiye kaise aap nayi skill seekh sakte ho that are that will make you irreplaceable right so uh you need to focus on that one thing itself i knew ki code is the most important thing right now that's what scales and that's what companies are willing to spend the most money on so i learned that first of all and that also helped me later on in my journey so that's basically how my journey started and then i of course met a consumer out of content of gary v about how can you create a brand of yourself online how can you grow on social so i started with instagram started with my podcast on youtube and that's how things went in 2020 and here we are <laughs> i know here we are where uh, impressively you have done so 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 awesome man bahut bahut acha lagta hai aapki journey ko dekh ke thank But, you so much uh, i i i remember this जब मैं आपके पॉडकास्ट पे पहली बार आया था एंड आई डेंट फ्रेंकली रियलाइज इट लेकिन जब मैं दूसरी बार आया देन यू शेयर कि यू आर वेरी नर्वस एंड दिस इज नॉट योर नेचुरल सेल्फ एंड आपको बहुत अपने ऊपर काम करना पड़ा टू गेट कंफर्टेबल विद दिस वॉज कॉन्टेंट क्रिएशन विच इज अ ब्रिलियंट इनकम स्ट्रीम स्पेशली फॉर अ स्टूडेंट अगर वो नेचुरल नहीं था वॉट वॉज इन योर माइंड ईशान कि मुझे इसमें एक्सपेरिमेंट करना है या मैं इसको देखना चाहता हूँ ये कहाँ तक जा सकता है सो माई माइंड सेट इज ऑल बीन अबाउट टेक द हार्ड पाथ एंड यू लर्न अलॉन्ग द वे हाउ इट रियली वर्क इन यू फिगर थिंग्स आउट नाउ वेन आई सेल्ट कॉन्टेंट क्रिएशन बिफोर दैट I had this one hackathon. So Microsoft mm-hmm. ka hackathon hua tha hamare college mein and uh, I built something with my college friend, my roommate and then we started tried to pitch that to the judge. And I realized that I was not able to properly explain what I have built in the last 24 hours to the judges. And that was a horrible uh, feeling in my mind. I was just like ki mai kya kar raha maine ye? Pichle 24 ghante mein jo bana raha hu I have not able to properly explain, not able to properly sell that to the judge. so i thought ki i have to work on this thing how can i do that i am not having the finances to go for those expensive apps on which you meet people and you learn english how to speak it online right there are bunch of those apps out there so i thought one good way would be to start just making videos or just like talking to myself so i have this uh, this unlisted links of videos that i recorded <laughs> you know i just used to be like okay this is what happened today this is what i was thinking this is what i felt this is what the professor did this is how much marks i got this is what i'm feeling about it and that is what i did for i think 5 to 10 weeks right and then i was like let me try to talk to my seniors in my college they have some great experiences so one guy was in second year and was interning at at uh, harvard one guy was building their own startup getting the thiel fellowship one guy got accepted into y combinator with the startup really interesting people amazing stories and i thought i would talk to them learn about their stories and also record this and then share that with everyone because not everyone knows about all of these things right that's the gap that we're trying to bridge as content creators that's what all you would also agree with that yeah. and so i did that every week i used to have one video on the sundays and then slowly i realized that after the pandemic started i realized that i could actually record videos and i could talk to the camera and i could upload that as well in the weekdays itself so that it would drive more attention to my channel and then ultimately people would want to look at the sunday videos those were the long form podcasts that i used to do with people that's what i did and uh, i made this i made this discipline of uploading one video every two days and i am following that even to this day after two years wow. So I started in January 2020, and here we are in 2022. So I've been at it for the past two years, and I can really see the compounding gains, both in the numbers as well as in my own speaking skills, in just everything in my life in general, basically. 
so i've learned a lot in the whole journey fantastic and i'm still in third year <laughs> i know exactly like that that's why, like you're still a student and you are matlab to tumne apne college ki average placement ko to bahut piche already chhod diya hai you yeah. are your your way ahead and, and you're living life on your own terms jab jahan time kharch karna hai paisa kharch karna hai you have the liberty and the freedom to do that which is so so liberating bahut badhiya yaar and kabhi bhi aapko ishan while you wanted to pay for your own college fees and that was a desire right kis point pe aisa laga ki ab ye reality ho gayi hai like ab to college ki fees main puri bhar paunga sure so i think it was middle of 2021 i would just reach out to brands and i would be like hey i've been using your application for the last 2 years i would love to talk about it on my channel let me know if there's like a fruitful collaboration possible here and they would be like sure let's try it out and that's basically how uh, all the all of this started and that's when i realized that right now i'm able to make enough that the top package in my college would pay and that's when i thought this is the time for me to start paying for my fees and that was i think uh, 21 basically the second year first semester so since then i've been paying my whole fees and my parents are really proud of whatever i've been able to do that's why they also agreed when i last year last month when i dropped out of my college they agreed for that and they said i see that you are focusing on this for the last two years you are committed and you can do something big with this channel and with the agency that you're trying to build so they went ahead with my decision to drop college and focus totally on content as well as on building my business fantastic man we we've got you at the right time matlab wo ho gaya na ki ek beej boya tha thodi si offsprings ani shuru ho chuki hain this is the moment april 2022 ishan has just dropped out of college going full time into what he loves to do and agle 3 5 saal now the world will see a completely new behemoth coming out and i'm so excited <laughs> for that yeah brilliant so in all your experience ishan अगर आपको स्टूडेंट्स के लिए एक तरीके की प्लेबुक बना के देनी हो नॉट नेसेसरीली कि आपकी जिंदगी में जो हुआ है वो उनकी जिंदगी में एग्जैक्टली होगा बट देर आर लॉट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंसिस दैट कैन बी ड्रॉन अपॉन व्हाट वुड बी योर वेज दैट यू वुड रेकमेंड स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ इंडिया इन कॉलेज टू स्टार्ट बिल्डिंग एन इनकम स्ट्रीम जिससे वो फाइनेंशियली इंडिपेंडेंट हो सकते हैं Sure, definitely. I'll talk about all of these ways. Before that, I'm just going to tell you all to all the audience that before you think about this, just realize that you are watching YouTube. That many people tell you, you know, how much money I made, or this kind of thing. Many videos on YouTube. Par. But don't compare their journey with what you are at right now. Right? This quote is also that don't compare your their day six hundred with your day six. So you have to understand that very important thing. Now, keeping all of those. uh important warnings aside let's talk about the 10 ways in which you can earn as a college student number 1 would be to look at the creator economy right and first of all you know you can start out as a social media manager all the creators out there even brands out there they need someone who understands the platforms better than they do so if you know how instagram works if you know how twitter works if you know how youtube platform really works the algorithm and what type of content works on this platform you can pitch in and when you do that they will have to see your credibility so you first have to have some sort of a portfolio that you can show to them and then once you're done with that then you will definitely be able to get ton of clients right now all the business that i get in my agency is just because of the metric that i have on my youtube channel that's social media management number 2 as i talked about influencers and creators in general you can start to become a manager for all of them right now i'm also looking for one so basically one person who you can just reach out and who can help you with all the back end things right like you know booking a flight scheduling all the meetings talking with some brands getting the some content done sort of a journalistic role that that people can do so if you're good at talking if you're good at writing just good at doing a lot of different things then you can try to pitch in yourself and you can work as a virtual assistant that's going to be number 2 let's talk about number 3 the third way to make money would be to start editing videos for brands as well as for creators i have seen huge opportunity in this space i personally have hired 10 different video editors who work with us wow. and all of these are college students 
And so basically, yeah. whenever you're like editing a video, you have to focus more towards how can you make it interactive and engaging so that the average view duration of the video increases. So that's the metric that most people are looking out for, for whatever video that they're trying to edit and create. So that's what you should be focusing on. You can do that with the help of DaVinci Resolve. You can do that with the help of Adobe Premiere Pro. You can learn all of these things for free as well, or you can get it through, you know, affordable courses on various different platforms and you can start upskilling yourself. So that's going to be the third way to make money, editing videos. That's what I have tried. So they have this freelancer basis. So someone is like editing 50 to 100 different videos and they get paid uh, about 60 to 70, 80,000 rupees per month as well. So a great field for you to explore if you have the time and if you are patient to learn how videos can be edited and how can you make it engaging. So that's number three. Number four, I think you can start learning how design works, you know, just going back to upskilling yourself, learn how design really works and how can you start creating thumbnails as well as start making IG carousals. So thumbnail is a really interesting field because here it's a lot less about design. It's more about the psychology. If you can understand what is the psychology of a user who is scrolling on, on YouTube and what are the things that they're attracted towards, then you can make some really interesting thumbnails. And the way YouTube works is that if you have a thumbnail and if you change that, and if, the, if it just works, if the CTR click-through rate goes more than like 2-3%, the difference in the video views can be substantial, right? So that's what I have also noticed on my own channel. So this is a great thing that all of the YouTube creators are looking out for. It's also called as re-indexing by changing the title and the thumbnail. So it works really, really well. You can start with Canva. You can also go to Photoshop and you can start exploring how thumbnail design really works. It's all about experimentation. That's what I have also learned in my whole journey. So that's going to be one thing that you can do. Also, you can learn about how to create Instagram carousals or just carousals in general. Or you can also create pitch text for people. So the way this works is that you need to learn about this thing called as the AIDA framework. Mm -hmm. Imagine like a 10 post carousal. The mm -hmm. first page has to hook the audience. So how yeah. can you create that right messaging? That could be through font. That could also be through images. That could be also through illustration. How can you hook the person in with the help of that? And the next thing is when you build up that whole uh, curiosity of the person. And then at the end, you give them the answer that they're looking out for. And at the very end is your CTA. That what is it that you want them to do? And that's basically the AIDA framework. I love this. I read this from this person called as Chris Du, who I look up to a lot in the design field. The fifth way to make money is to learn about SEO. So learn how SEO works. You can do that on YouTube. You can do that for blogs. And once you know how to create highly optimized content, then you can go and apply that for blogs. You can do that for writing subtitles, for writing description. You can do that for Twitter threads as well. You can do that for a variety of different things. But once you know how to create an optimized content piece, then you can potentially just pitch it to a bunch of different clients. I have interviewed two people who work as a content writer on Fiverr itself, and they're able to make more than $400,000 every single year doing just that. So all they really do is that they ghost write articles or even eBooks for some people on the platform, and they're able to make a decent living doing just that. So there's a great opportunity over here as well as a content writer. Start learning it, start understanding how you know, organic search really works on YouTube as well as on Google, and you will be able to get into this field very easily. Let's talk about the sixth way to make money as a student, and that would be to get scholarships. So, you know, you can either make money or you can save your parents money or your loan or whatever it is that you're paying from your own account with the help of getting scholarships. So I know that in my college, there is this thing called as merit come need scholarship. My roommate also has it. So the way this works is that there will be a certain threshold of your household annual income. And if that income is less than then you end up getting uh, this particular scholarship. So it's 
a great thing that you can definitely approach. Now, if it is above that, then you need to be great at studies. Then you need to be great at getting great CGPA and that way you can get uh, some amazing scholarships. I know in my own batch, there are people who are getting 100% waiver in their tuition wow. fees because they're able to get 9.7, 9.8 CGPA in their studies. But they're also spending majority of their time doing just that. So I don't know if that works well or not. <laughs> So, so that's one way that you can start by getting scholarships. Seventh way is to start making websites and apps for businesses or even for startups. So you'll find a lot of businesses in your own town who are trying to get online and they want someone who can create great responsive websites as well as apps that gets them on in the digital space, basically. And yeah. they would love to pay you handsomely for doing that. If there's like a shop that you can go to, like a supermarket, and you can just say that, hey, I'll get you on this platform. I'll get you on Google Maps so that more people can recognize you and they can get to you. And that will increase your sales. So always think about how can you pitch them as the end product that I will do this as this, but at the end, it will impact your sales by this much, or it will help you get more footfall in your particular mall or whatever place that would be. So... You can do that. You can try to create websites. Now, the way that works is that you can either learn about how WordPress works and you can learn about how different, you know, Elementor or how other themes work. Or what you can also do is learn to code yourself and start building websites from scratch. So there can be both of these things that you can do. If you don't want to code, if you just want to use track and drop tools, you can do that as well. The problem is that most people don't really know about these opportunities that they can still use WordPress. They can use a bunch of other, you know, websites that enable them to build their own websites from scratch. So that's how that works. The eighth way to make money would be to start participating in hackathons or bug bounty programs. This is a little niche. If you are engineers or if you are engineering, if you are into programming, there are many hackathons in your city or you can go to DevFolio. It's a website that you can visit and you can see which hackathons are in the whole India. There are many virtual hote Kuch in person bhi hote that you can go and you can attend. So basically here, you give 24 to 48 hours dete and they basically say that this is the main project this is the theme and you need to create your own project using that so that's how you can start building your own project then you pitch it to the judges and if they like it you will end up winning some prizes you can end up getting funding for a project as well and if not you'll anyways get free food as well as a bunch of t-shirt and other swags so it's definitely a win-win situation for everyone <laughs> so that's hackathons you can also take part in uh, bug bounty programs. So what are websites in many websites? They have this program in which if you have any bug identified, any uh, you know, abnormal activity in their website, if you have kari, you can report it to them. And if they find it to be true, if they see that that's actually the case, they'll pay you for notifying them. So this is called ethical hacking. You can learn about how this works on YouTube and a variety of different courses that you can buy and you can learn about the same. But once you know how to properly look at a website and find out some bugs, you can then start pitching it to uh, all of these companies. I had this one friend and uh, she had recognized bugs in Google and TikTok and Microsoft. There are a lot of bugs, hote hai, you know, like mm -hmm. compatibility issue with a particular screen size. Yeah, kuch -kuch hai. And they'll pay you handsomely. They'll pay like $3,000, $4,000, $5,000 for wow. identifying just this one thing. Because it might look small for you, but they are operating on a scale of billions of users every single day. All of these giant corporations. Kafi fun, hota hai, you know, just like tinkering around with the website, trying to find something interesting. And that's what you can also do. Basically, many mm -hmm. hackers, jo hai, they misuse this particular opportunity to maybe steal data or something. And yeah. if you are being a good person identifying about them, they appreciate it. And that's why you get paid for that. So that's how that works. The ninth way to make money would be to get research or summer internships. In my batch, there are a lot of people who are going to Carnegie Mellon for a research internship someone wow. is going to MIT someone is going to Harvard so this is basically like a three to six month long internship completely paid for them and they also get a stipend they go there and they work on a project with a professor and they try to create a report at the end so that's basically how that works 
यूल नीड टू लर्न हाउ टू कॉन्टैक्ट ऑल ऑफ दीज प्रोफेसर आउट देयर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल उनके रिसर्च पेपर पढ़ने पड़ेंगे वॉट एवर इट इज दैट दे आर रिलीजिंग इफ इट इज समथिंग दैट इज इंटरेस्टिंग इन योर ओन डोमेन उनके रिसर्च पेपर्स पढ़िए उनको रीच आउट करिए उनको बोलिए कि सर आई हैड अ लुक एट वॉट यू आर वर्किंग ऑन एंड आई थिंक दिस इज रियली इंटरेस्टिंग दिस इज वॉट आई हैव बीन वर्किंग ऑन इन द पास्ट टू टू थ्री मंथ्स एंड आई वुड लव टू वर्क विद यू एंड लर्न मोर अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर फील्ड so yeah. these can be internships of maybe like a ui ux designer it could be a pm intern it could also be a developer uh, a junior developer intern position so that's basically how things really work in ke liye aap approach kar sakte ho angelistic website hai you can also go to their particular careers page and you can try to apply for that referrals ke through karoge to aur acche se you'll have a chance to get to work with them and just be honest ki this is what i have worked and this is why i love your idea particularly and what you guys are working on and i would love to grow together just be honest and approach them and I, they would be more than willing to work with you maine abhi recently ek web3 startup se baat kar raha tha and i was just talking about a collaboration that we can have and they basically just said that hey you know so much about this field we would love to onboard you as like a employee over here and you can work as a devrel right a developer advocate role and that was really interesting to me because i was just talking for that guy for the last one or two hours and that guy was really impressed by whatever it is that i'm trying to know or trying to build in this space so just be honest and just share your opinions and you'll definitely find opportunities in bangalore or in the startup ecosystem in general so that is the ninth way to make money the last one is really interesting because this is where you productize yourself you productize whatever it is that you know you can do that with the help of creating digital assets digital products number one would be to create your own ebook so this is a really interesting thing it's completely permissionless the way this works is whatever it is that you have learned a skill or a particular experience or maybe you love a particular topic maybe quantum mechanics or whatever it is that you love maybe you love writing stories about just anything in general get a google doc and start writing about it and what you'll realize is that you can take this piece of document and you can publish this with the help of amazon kdp Uh, KDP is basically Kindle Direct Publishing. With the help of this, you can publish your books for completely free, and it will be available on all the major Amazon websites around the world, right? So you get the distribution of Amazon for completely zero charge, and they only take a commission on whatever sale you will be having for the book. Correct. Now this happened with me particularly. I have written my own book about how can you utilize opportunities on LinkedIn, called as Crush It on LinkedIn, and I have been making a lot of videos about it as well, but there wasn't anything concrete that I had put out. I mean, videos come, some views come, then they go away, and then people are just like, "What are they doing?" Because they're not able to find the videos. So I thought, let me just make one proper ebook. So I, mm-hmm. I wrote it. It was just like a 90-page ebook. I wrote it over three months. I wrote it over a weekend or two. 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 So that was a great experience because I learned how to like write a book, उसको edit कैसे करते हैं उसका poster कैसे बनाते हैं you know the cover of it and also publish कैसे करते हैं so you can do the same and once you're done with that people will buy it you have to also optimize it for uh, for the Amazon search feed उसमें कुछ terms you have to include you can learn about that just just Google it मैंने सब कुछ Google से सीखा है I haven't You know, like seek some mentor. कि आप मुझे सिखा दो ऐसा कुछ कर दो Of course, I've watched amazing videos of people like Ankur right here and a bunch of other insightful creators. And then I have just googled everything, and that's how I've learned everything so far. So just be curious, and you can create an ebook. You can also make a course of whatever it is that you're doing. बहुत सारे platforms हैं through which you can publish it for free, and they'll just take a ten to twenty percent cut. for the platform charges and once you create them then you can sell it multiple times ek bahut acha quote hai naval ka build once sell twice and uh, that basically means how can you create products that have everything that you particularly know or what you are known for basically and people can buy it multiple times without additional cost of replication so that's what i feel about it there are various different things you can do you can build your digital assets and that will be a source of passive income for you so that's how this works you also need to have a distribution of course uh, in order to sell all of these things but we can talk about that in a later video how to become a creator and all <laughs> so these were the 10 ways in which you can make money as a college student i have tried most of them or not 
my college students and the people that I work with have definitely tried all of them. They work really well and you can easily make 30 to 50,000 or even more than that every single month as a student doing this part time while also focusing on your college and your studies. Fantastic, man. I loved it. I loved it. It's not much to know. And you're right, Ishan, that we're living in this time where opportunities are abundant and it is frankly the initiative at our end that will convert those opportunities into things that work for us. So thank you so much. Audience ke liye, Ishan ne December 2021 made a very big video on 21 ways <laughs> in which a uh, student can earn or make an income. So I'd encourage you to watch that video as well. Us video ka link pinned comment or description. Mein hai. Do follow Ishan because he's creating some brilliant, brilliant content around conversations, around work, around student life, and so many other things that are bound to happen. Thank you so much, Arishan, for being part of this. It was very fun, I got a lot to learn. And I wish you the best for your journey ahead. Thank you so much, Ankur, for inviting me here. It's my honor to be on this platform, just talking to you. I never imagined that this would be possible, but I guess that's the power of content. It can take you ways, it can take you places that you never even imagined. Thank you so much exactly. for inviting me. On that note, this is Ankur Variku signing off. YouTube Shorts के लिए एक dedicated channel launch किया गया है जिस पे आप सिर्फ वो 60 second के shorts देख सकते हैं no long format content to confuse you and hopefully those 60 seconds will help you just as much as these long format videos do. Subscribe करिए pin comment और description में link है to the Variku Shorts channel.